Has Huntington Beach really become the place of $1,000 for square foot houses? If you're thinking about buying in Huntington Beach, or even if you live in Huntington Beach, this is the information that you need to know. Hi, this is Gantry with eXp Real Estate. And last year, for the first two quarters of 2021, there were 26 homes that sold over $1,000 per square foot in Huntington Beach. Now, taking a look at this year, we've had 33 homes that have sold over $1,000 per square foot. Now that's increased by what, seven homes? And I gotta tell you, that's a little bit shocking because we're starting to see home prices go up and we're seeing them rise quite a bit. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna break down the first two quarters of last year with the first two quarters of this year and go zip code by zip code. So you can learn different areas have appreciated and grown at different rates. So we're gonna go through all that and you're gonna be able to see exactly what's happening in your area or the areas that you consider. So let's start with 92647. Now this is the area that's closest to the 405 freeway. And to make sure I get my numbers right, I've got my notes right here, so let me double check. So in 2021, there was 176 sales. And I'm only focusing on single family homes. So not condos, not townhomes, single family homes. So there's 176 sales in the first two quarters of 2021. The average days on the market was 12 days on the market. The median price was 906,000. And the price per square foot was 588. Now let's look at the first two quarters of, of 2022 and compare that for 92647. The number of sales was 118. The days on market was 11, so it's gone down just a little bit, but the number of sales has gone down quite a bit. And that's a function because there's, and you're gonna see that through each of the, the zip codes because there's just not enough homes out there. And the median price was up a whopping 27%, up from 906 to 1,150. And the price per square foot, that went from 588 to 710, and that's up 21%. So you can see that things are moving up quite a bit, 27% in appreciation from second quarter of last year to second quarter of this year. So let's take a look at 92646. In 2021, now 92646 is considered South Honey. That's the area that borders Newport Beach. It's kind of, been, it's, it's always been very popular, but even lately it's become even more popular. You're starting to see more and more people that only want 92646. There were 204 sales in the first two quarters of 2021, with an average days of market of 12 days, a median price of 1175 and the price per square foot of 607. Now let's compare it to this year. So this year, instead of 204 sales, there was 127 sales. Days of market was 13, so a little bit an extra day longer, but the median price was up 20%, up from a million one seventy five to one point four one zero, so a million four hundred and ten thousand, so up twenty percent, and the price per square foot was up twenty five percent to seven sixty one. So what that means is, is in that area, even smaller houses had appreciated and started to sell a little bit faster. So that's why the price per square foot went up twenty five percent versus the median price, which only went up twenty percent. So you're seeing even more expensive homes are moving up and, and even costing more. So make sure and stay with me because after we go through all the zip codes, we're gonna talk a little bit about interest rates. So make sure and watch this all the way to the end. And so now we're gonna talk about zip code 92648. Now this area is an area called Sea Club. It's downtown Huntington Beach. There's country clubs, there's a lot of private uh, gated communities. And then you also have the downtown areas which are the number streets with your tall skinny houses. The number of sales in 2021 was 162. The days on market was 11 days, and the median price was 1680000 with a price per square foot of $640. Now let's look at 2022. The number of sales is 88. Now that's compared to 162. That's cut down by half. So literally half as many homes have sold this year as they did last year. Once again, another example of our lack of inventory. Average days on the market went from 11 days down to nine days. The median price is up 22%. So it went from a million six hundred and eighty to two million and fifty thousand. And the price per square foot also went up 22% from 640 to 787. It's a very desirable area. This is the area that I actually live in. I live in 92648. It's a great community, great area. If you like being downtown, you like some of the communities, it's the place to be. Finally, we're gonna talk about 92649. Now 92649, that's the harbor. So that's where there's a whole area where you have houses that are right on the water. It's a man-made harbor. People have their boats. 
But you've also got some of the other areas over there too. You have an area called Brightwater, which is a brand new subdivision. Great homes, a lot of them, some of them even have these beautiful views of the ocean. So in 2021, 92649, there was 132 sales. Average days on the market was seven days. The median price was 1,512,000. And the price per square foot was 694. The number of sales though in 2022 this year is 77. So it went from 132 down to 77 sales total. Seven days on the market, that stayed the same. And the median price went up from a million five twelve to a million six eighty. So it only went up eleven percent, but the price per square foot went up 17%. So it went from 694 to 815. Once again, what that says by the price per square foot going up means smaller homes sold for more money. So people want to get into that 92649 and 92648, and they're willing to pay a little bit more even for a little bit smaller house. So in, in Huntington Harbor, they had the highest sale last year, or actually so far this year, of $10 million. It was a home that sold over in an area called Coral Cay, right in the harbor, a $10 million house. That's our highest sale so far that Huntington Beach has ever had, and that just occurred a few months ago. So let's talk about interest rates as promised. So last year, we ended the year at 3%. So far this year, we're hovering right around 5.5% interest rates. That's a substantial rise. What that's caused is the number of homes to go down. So a lot of the sales that we talked about in this occurred in January and February. Now, a lot of those people locked in at 3%, but now what's happening is you're starting to see the number of homes that on the market is increasing while the number of people actually buying those homes is decreasing. We're not seeing prices go down, but we're seeing the number of homes selling go down. And so it should be very interesting to see what happens in the third quarter. So make sure and check back here because I'll go through and then when, that, when we get to third quarter, I'm going to compare not only third quarter with third quarter of last year, but third quarter with first quarter and second quarter of this year too. So we're going to go through everything. So we're seeing a lot of this. And so what I'm telling my clients right now is now is the time to buy a home. And people are like, well, what? You, you just said the interest rates are up. The reason why you wanna buy now is because they're still anticipated to go higher. And as prices go up, we're still gonna see it's gonna make that payment, that monthly payment go up too. But we're not anticipated for home prices to go down because we're still in a, in a, a strong seller's market. It's gonna change to a slight seller's market. But what's gonna happen is, is, is now you're gonna see prices level up. Instead of that 22% appreciation, we're expected seven to 8% appreciation next year. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of information that we just went over. We talked about the number of homes that sold for $1,000 price per square foot last year compared to this year. We talked about each of the different zip codes and what's happening in those. And we even went over interest rates a little bit. Like I said, that's a lot of information. So if you have any questions about any of those numbers, or if you'd like to know the value of your home, please give me a call. I'd love to sit down with you, go over the information, and also give you what the value of your home is today, because it's changing all the time. I'm here to help. And I'll talk to you soon.